This class is from the Vibes program. This yoga program offers five unique classes, each designed to create a certain vibe or feeling that you may need that day. Click the link in the description to access the other classes in this program on YA Classes. I hope you enjoy this class. Hello and welcome to De-Stress. This class is perfect anytime that you're feeling stressed out, overwhelmed, or in need of a reset. In this class, we are going to decompress, de-stress, and feel great both mind and body. All you'll need is a yoga mat, but if you have two yoga blocks, you can grab those as well, and we'll get started. We are going to begin our practice today with the humming bee breath or the brahmari pranayama in Sanskrit. This is one of my favorite forms of pranayama. It's not as commonly practiced in yoga classes, but it feels amazing and it really works in de-stressing when you feel a little bit overwhelmed. So the way that we do this is we are going to use our thumb and our pointer fingers of both hands. We're going to use our thumbs to gently cover our ears and our pointer fingers to gently press against our closed eyelids. Now we take an inhale breath and we hum on the entire exhale. We inhale again to fill the lungs and then we hum the entire exhale out. We're going to do this for six rounds. When you're ready, meet me in any comfortable position, kneeling, cross-legged, half or full lotus, and we'll get started. Using your two thumbs, we'll press them over the ears, and you do want to plug your ears so that you can hear the sound of your voice inwardly. From there, you'll press your two pointer fingers gently over your eyelids. Take a deep inhale with me, and we'll begin. After your sixth round, keep your eyes closed, but gently relax your hands, palms down onto your knees, and just take a few normal inhale, exhales through your nose. Good. When you're ready, we'll be making our way into child's pose. You have the option of keeping your eyes closed for this or you can softly flutter them open, bringing your big toes to touch and allowing your knees to spread apart, melting your forehead down towards the mat. From here, gently rock your forehead back and forth across the mat a few times. And just begin to become aware of how you feel after the humming bee breath. What I love so much about that pranayama is it feels like it takes all the outside chatter, all the exterior distraction and stimuli, and it mutes it all and allows us to go fully inward where we literally cannot hear anything beyond our own hum. Take another breath in your child's pose. Take a deep exhale out your mouth with me. Good. With your next breath, look forward. We're going to begin to move our bodies now, coming in through some child's pose push-ups. Our legs will always remain in child's pose, but as your inhale, we're gonna lift forward and exhale lower down through a chaturanga push-up. Inhale, press up. Exhale, seat back to your heels. Good, here we go. Inhale, exhale. 
exhale. Inhale up, exhale back. Here we go. You got this. Stay with it. Spread your fingers nice and wide. We're halfway through. Final few. Here we go. Good. On this last one, we're going to hold forward for three, two, one. Awesome job. Coming up and back. This time, bring your knees to touch. We're going to drape the arms down by our sides. Rest your forehead down to the mat and interlace your fingers overhead. Pull your fist down towards your tailbone. Good. With an inhale breath, lift your fist up like you're trying to reach your arms up overhead. And now with the strength of your arms, lift your torso all the way up. Open your heart and then exhale, fold. A few times through, here we go. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. One more time. So good. This time, relax your arms down by your sides and take a few breaths here. Good. Now with your next inhale, slowly roll up one vertebra at a time, all the way upright, coming into seated. And this time we're just going to bring our right hand down, reaching our left arm up and overhead, getting a nice side body stretch. Deep inhale and exhale. Take another deep breath in. And this time with your exhale, swing the left arm forward and come up onto the opposite side. Pull your right shoulder back, take a deep breath in and out. Good. Ah, and we'll slowly come up through center. Nice job. Now from here, we're going to slowly just come down onto one side of our body so we can swing the legs out in front of us. Remove any extra flesh from your sits bones, bring the ankles to touch. We're going to flex the feet back towards our face. Inhale, take your arms up overhead and exhale, hinge and fold. <sighs> Grab onto your shins, ankles, toes, whatever you got. Take an inhale, lift your heart forward. Exhale, hinge. One more inhale. And this time, exhale, round. Let your head hang heavy and just breathe. Good. Your next inhale, bring your chin towards your toes. Take a halfway lift. Now, you have the option, if you'd like to get a little foot love in there, you can bring your fingers in between your toes to get a nice little foot stretch. If you don't want to do that, no worries. We're just going to take another inhale for a halfway lift wherever you are. And exhale, fold. It's always nice to give the feet some love. Often we wear restrictive footwear, especially women wearing heels and closed-toed shoes. And so stretching into the toes is a great way to help release the fascia. So if your feet feel crampy or tight ever, it's a nice way to counteract that. Take one more breath. And with your next breath, find a halfway lift. Release the toes if you got them. You can squeeze your feet, give your feet some love, and then we'll come all the way up to seated. Good. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to keep the right leg straight and also engaged by flexing the right toes back towards our face. We're going to bend the left knee and grab the outer blade of the foot. Now your right hand can be off to the side for support. And what we're going to do is we're just going to open and close the hip gently. You don't have to pull it, but just nice gentle movements like a half happy baby, just upright. Good. Working into the hip joint here. We tend to hold a lot of tension in our hips from sitting often, whether you're driving in your car or sitting at a desk for long hours out of the day. A lot of that tension goes right into our hips. Good. 
And then from here, we're gonna take a one leg stretch. So option one, you can bring the bottom of the foot to your inner right thigh, or option two, if you'd like a little more, you can bring the top of your left foot flexed to rest on the top of your right thigh. Either option is great. If this feels too much, go back to option one. When you're ready, arms up overhead, inhale. Exhale, we fold once more. Halfway lift and fold. Relax the head. Breathe. And change. We'll slowly come all the way up. And we'll relax the left leg long. We'll switch sides. So left leg extends, left toes flex back towards your face. And now this time let's draw the right foot in, grabbing the outer blade. And then your left hand can go off the left edge of your mat. And then we can begin to rock the right leg forward and back, nice and slow. Nice deep breathing. Good. And then same thing. Option one, bottom of the right foot against the inner left thigh. Option two, half lotus pose, top of the right foot on the top of the left thigh. Arms up overhead. Exhale, fold. Immediately round into it. Let it go. Let your head hang heavy and breathe. Good. With your next breath, let's come all the way up. And we'll slowly come out of this by crossing our legs, planting the palms, and stepping into downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale. Take a deep exhale. And we're just going to hold this pose for five deep breaths. You can bring some organic movement into it, shaking your head, yes and no, bending alternate knees. Or maybe you're feeling like I am today, where I'm just feeling called to hold this static pose. Down dog is a nice, gentle inversion. And so anytime we get the head below the heart, we're increasing the blood supply to the brain, which helps release endorphins, feel-good brain chemicals that help combat stress and anxiety. Hmm. Nice deep breathing. Two more breaths wherever you are. Good. And then with your next breath, we're going to look forward and we are going to step the right foot forward. Pivot onto the outer blade of your back left foot and then windmill the arms up into warrior two. Sink down low into your front knee and send your gaze out over your front middle finger. Take a deep inhale and a deep exhale. Good. With your next breath, flip your front palm up, reach forward and reverse. Inhale through center. This time reach forward and drop right forearm to right thigh, left arm up and over, extended side angle. We're gonna flow with our breath, so keep your core engaged for this entire little flow. Inhale, center. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, center. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale up. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, center, exhale, extended side. Good, come back through center, warrior two. And this time we're going to inhale for star pose, all 10 toes and palms facing the left edge of the mat. And then as we exhale, come into goddess pose. We're gonna gently shift side to side here. Good. <sighs> awesome job. Release your palms to the, your thighs. We're going to straighten into the arms and feel your lower back separate and create space as you bring the weight into your arms. Take an inhale breath. With your exhale, twist right shoulder towards your left knee. Inhale, come up. Exhale, left shoulder, right knee. Good. One more time each side. Inhale through center. Exhale, twist, arms remaining straight. 
Inhale, center, and exhale, twist. Nice job. Inhale, come up through center. Hands come out to the side. We're going to inhale the arms all the way up, toes forward once more, and this time, warrior two towards the back of the mat. Settle in, side two, here we go. Take a breath, press your front left knee to the outer blade of your front left foot. Feel strong in your foundation. Sending your gaze out over your front middle finger. And now let's flow, here we go. Turn your front palm up, reach forward. Exhale, up and back, reverse warrior. Inhale, come up through center. Exhale, reach forward and drop the left forearm down to the thigh, extended side angle. Engage your core. Inhale through center. One breath, one motion. Here we go. Flip your front palm up. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale. Extended side angle. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, hold your warrior two. Rise up to star and exhale, fold. Good, find a halfway lift. And exhale, release. Now walk your hands out behind you off the right edge of the mat, reaching your fingertips away from your heels. Maybe your forehead touches down onto the mat if you feel like you're slipping, you can turn your toes slightly inward, and we're just going to stay here for three deep breaths. Awesome job. When you're ready, replace your palms beneath you. Find a halfway lift, and then we're going to walk the hands forward to the front of the mat. And we're gonna frame the front right foot and send it back to downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale breath with me. Take an open mouth. One more inhale. And exhale, good. From here, bring your knees down to the mat. Cross your ankles and come onto your seat. Ha! We're preparing for reclined butterfly pose. Now, this is a great pose. If you have your yoga blocks, you could go ahead and place them or two pillows or bolsters or blankets beneath your knees. Not necessary at all, so I'll show you what it looks like without. From here as you're ready, you're going to slowly lower onto your back and coming all the way down nice and gentle. Now, this is a big hip opener, so if you wanna make it a little more gentle, you can simply make more of a diamond shape and send the heels away from your body. So find that position that works for you. You can gently rest your palms on your thighs or you can relax your arms down by your sides. And we'll just rest here. Start some nice, calm, deep breathing. And if your mind is racing and you want to help ground your awareness to the present moment, you can guide your left hand over your heart, your right hand over your stomach, and try to feel your heartbeat. Pay attention to the rising and falling of your chest and stomach as you breathe in and out. Relax. Feel the mat and the earth beneath you rising up to support you. Trusting enough to let go and surrender into this pose, feeling supported, grounded, and at peace. Good. Take a couple more breaths here. All right, now with your next breath, guide your hands to the outer parts of your knees and gently press them into meet at the center. Heel to the feet wide and allow your knees to rest on each other at the center of your mat for a breath. 
All right, now as you're ready, we're preparing for one of my favorite stress relieving postures of all time. This is legs up the wall, one of the most popular and common poses for stress relief. So all we're going to do is extend our legs straight up. Now we want our ankles above our knees, above our hips. So if you would like to scoot yourself up to a wall and stay here for the remainder of your practice, you can do that. In fact, if you ever have the time, I invite you to try it. And all you'll do is scoot yourself up against the wall and then rest the back of your legs against the wall and you can stay here for five, 10, 15 minutes, whatever you've got time for. This is also a pose where you can bring a blanket or a block beneath your tailbone. All right, now, if you're in the center of your mat with me, you're simply going to allow your legs to remain suspended. And when you have them stacked over your hips, it's relatively easy to do that. Now, some people like to bring their arms out to a T with their palms facing down for a little more support. Let's just breathe here. Now, if your mind starts to wander, bring it back to the breath, which I know can sound kind of cliche sometimes, but what I mean is try fully focusing on following the full inhale through the full exhale. I'm gonna be honest with you, that doesn't always work for me. So if you need a little more, you can try a mantra, repeating peace, peace, peace to yourself or even out loud. Or if you prefer, you can say it in Sanskrit. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. So keep breathing, perhaps incorporating your mantra. Now, once again, I'll invite you to stay here longer if you'd like, or if you're feeling the benefits of this and you do want to try it up against the wall for your final Shavasana, please do. Hint, hint. It's really helpful. And if you'd like to end class with me, then when you're ready, I'm just going to gently separate the feet and shake out the legs a little bit. Good. Allow your knees to bend and your knees to come into your body. Grasping the outer parts of your knees, you can draw little circles in one direction and then the other. And then as you're ready, I invite you to take up space in your Shavasana. So legs up the wall Shavasana, or if you're with me, spread your arms out nice and wide, spread your feet out nice and wide. Take a deep inhale and a full, deep, audible exhale. Settle into your resting pose and we'll stay here in silence for a few moments together.
Now as you continue to rest in the stillness that you've created through your practice today, we'll end with a little guided meditation, visualizing a white speck of light at the center of your third eye. And as you see this white light, you attach to it the word peace or shanti. And as you stay focused on this white light, it begins to grow and expand, covering your entire face, feeling its warmth like the warmth of the sun shining down on you. As you continue to watch it, it grows, covering your chest, your stomach, feeling its warmth cover your arms, your hips, your thighs, all the way down your legs and your feet. It's as if you are wrapped in this bright white cocoon of peaceful light, of healing, safe light. The light of your peace, of your calm. Continue to breathe here, continuing to watch this white light spread throughout your entire room, filling your entire space. And now as you begin to deepen your breathing with every inhale, you breathe in this white, peaceful light. Coming through your nose, down your throat, filling your lungs and your entire body with this peace. And as you exhale, you send it right back out, always replenishing. Breathing it all in and sending it all back. I invite you to take this peaceful light with you off your mat today. And every time you breathe in, allowing it to be a sentiment of your peace, and of your power to create peace in any moment with your breath and with this light. Take another deep breath in and fill up. Another deep breath out and letting it go. And with your next breath, reach your arms up overhead. Point through your toes. Stretch like you're just waking up. And guide your knees into your chest. We'll bring our left arm up today, signifying new beginnings, fresh starts. And roll on to that left-hand side. Take a breath. Gaze is soft or your eyes remain closed, still envisioning that bright, white, peaceful light. With your next breath, using your free right hand, gently press yourself up to seated. Using your inhale, gathering your arms up overhead. Using your exhale to guide your hands to heart center and peace. We bow and say, Namaste. Namaste.